Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Australia versus Iceland. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the starting 11 for China. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it can be seen as a very defensive shape, but if they have good athletes in midfield, which they have, who are ready to break forward as soon as possession is won, they can still pose a big threat today. And this confrontation is underway. Wuji. It's a weighted pass. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. A good and fair challenge. Palson. In possession, Bjarnason. Johan Berg Goodwinson. Well, the attack looks promising. And the cross is very much on. And a no-nonsense clearance. Carvalho. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Alan Carvalho. Hao Jun Min. Wu Ji gives it a go. Well, able to close down the short. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. He's got the right idea with that pass. And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here it is again. The pass behind the defence is absolutely perfect. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Birkir Bjarnason on the offensive. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And a touch off the defender last of all, so a corner. Yeah. 
Let's see about the delivery. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Palson in possession, Bjarnason. Superb block. Hao Jun Min. Here's Carvalho. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And he takes it on. And winning it back. Birkir Bjarnason. Johan Berg Goodmanson. They do pass the ball with authority. And space for the cross. Palson. High quality defending. Cleared away comprehensively. Kjartansson. Moving it forward. Goodmundsson. Fractionally offside. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things round here. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Good Monson. Sends it back. And a fantastic diving save. And over it comes. And a struggle to get it away properly. And a time for cool heads. Hao Jun Min. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Oh, moving it nicely. Putting his body on the line. Really good interception. Zhang Zhizhe and scope for them to produce something exciting well a shame that he couldn't find the target from there and we will have just one additional minute Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Palson. Kjartansson. Traustason. Palson. Good visualisation and execution. 
Well, the danger is still there. Danger averted for now. Zhang Linpeng. Here's Carvalho. Well, he has the measure of his man. The cut back. And a body in the way. It needs an accurate cross. Will he finish? Marvellous anticipation. Over it comes. It might still be problematic. Paulson. Hurdur Magnusson. Kjartansson. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? And a no-nonsense clearance. Well, great read there to intercept. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Wang. And a fine stop. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Attending to his defensive chores. Real chance! Or could it get wide from there? A pity, really. Good defending. Zhang Zhizhe. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Birkir Bjarnason. Well, he had to read it and get there, and did. Chi. Alan Carvalho. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And so it will be a corner.
Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Birkir Bjarnason. Johan Berg Goodwinson. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Oh, moving it nicely. Untidy in possession. Possession lost. Well, attacking possibilities. Top class defending. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Really nice ball. Oh, fine attempt, but denied by the bar. Well, he thought that was in, and I have to say, so did I. It was a really good effort. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Alan Carvalho. Here's how Jun Min. Zhang Peng. And a chance to whip it in here. Raustason. Well, still time for them to level it. Hurdur Magnusson. This could level it. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now. Trying to pick out a teammate. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.